So let's get on with the big unboxing. Invisible sticky tape, not good on boxes. Alright, here you go, let's see what we have. Wow, it's bigger than I thought. We have a timing belt there. Okay, so it's all moulded plastic. Get these, lucky I've got my scalpel here, we can make that all nice and neat and make it look good. We want to take our time on this model, so we want to make it look real good. Gaskets, that's cool. Springs, yep. Wow, that's a lot of screws. And take a bit of time, that's cool. What else is in there? The camshafts and things like that. Now, some of the plastic. Okay. Now, I think these just cover it, so these aren't actually anything to do with what you would normally. Well, maybe they are. I don't know about that. Rockers, cool. Pistons. Any pistons in there, that's very cool. Any black parts. Oh. Very cool. That is. Oh, yeah, so you got your engine now. I think that's actually the oil tray up in there. The heart. Yes. I have to call that a heart, I don't know. Anyway, that's why you get the V shape. Hang on. So that's where you get your V shape from. So that's why they call it a V8. So you have eight cylinders in here. Four on each side, uh, and you actually have the V there. It's fairly self-explanatory, and you know, probably 99% of you guys out there know that, but uh, for the ones that don't, that's actually why it's called a V, because the engine makes a V shape. Yeah, electrics. Well, I'm assuming is like spark plugs, I guess. Some. That's very cool. More covers. See-through. I'm much interested to see what, how dark these see-throughs are. Look, I'm probably wishing they've got a slight tint to them. Come on, sucker. Alright, so they've probably got a slight tint to it. I don't know how well can we see. Oh, we should be able to see through that quite well. I was hoping it wasn't going to be too dark because, you know, you really want to see the inner workings of it. Um, so they make these clear, uh, but they do have a slight tint on it. Um, very cool. Seems to be quite solid. Quite a solid plastic which is going to be good. Um, it's all very plain and boring and bland, actually. I did have an idea that maybe I could spray some of this uh, with some cool colours. You know you know how I love this from my other videos, you know? But I've got all my RC paints here. A um, bit of bright silver, maybe, might... Well, we'll have a look at that later. So that's cool. And then we have the manual here. It's got all your parts in there. Very cool. Fan, where's that fan? I didn't see the... Oh, there's a fan in there. Oh, well, I'm sure the fan's in there somewhere. So it is fairly big. It's about uh, 20 centimetres long, as you can see there from my ruler mat. And about 13 wide. Probably get a little bit longer than that when you put the fan on the front uh, and some of the gears and drive shaft and that on the back. Uh, maybe a little bit wider. How tall is it going to... It's about seven centimetres tall. I don't know what scale that would be. It looks maybe a uh, a one tenth. Oh, it probably looks bigger than a one a one tenth. Maybe even a, a fifth scale or something like that. Um, very impressed, actually. Very, very impressed. Like I said, all solid plastic, so should be pretty cool. On the box here, it says age range from ten plus. Looking at how complicated uh, some of the parts are and how small it actually is and how many parts there is, the two fifty parts you can see there. I don't know, you have to be a pretty smart 10 year old I reckon to put it together, we'll see how uh, simple the instructions are, I don't imagine I should need too much of the instructions, but um, it might help with some of the electric stuff that's going on, um, that's not actually real, like a like a real engine, um, but it says 10 year olds plus, now it only came with one tool, one Phillips head screwdriver, I'll be interested to see if that's actually all you need, uh, looking at the screws there, they're all Phillips head, uh, but I'm not sure if that's all you're going to need, like I said I've got my scalpel, here, which should help with some of the plastics. I also have a toolbox here that I use on my RC car, so I've got a whole range of different tools in there which might which might help. Uh, I know one tool won't fix your whole real V8 motor, but for this one, one tool. Next video, we'll start with your build.